Let's see the bacon. The rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And, you know, we like YouTube. I have to tell you, well, YouTube, social media, this platform, I, we, I do like, like the flexibility of this platform. Why is this doing so well compared to traditional legacy media? Well, lots of reasons. One, where else are you going to go and find a, a video uh, dissecting very, very, very niche subjects, which I think this is fair. Uh, Doctor Who rumor patrol video. Second one this week. Blimey, there's a lot, a lot of it going around. Uh, uh, where else are you going to go? At uh, YouTube. You have to go to YouTube because it's the only place where they, you have niche upon niche upon niche. And because it's got such a worldwide base, uh, uh, you know, few of you end up watching it. Very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, but more yeah, somebody speaking honestly, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I mean, listen, that's not true. I'm trying to sell you to join my Substack, but I'm doing that badly, okay? <laughs> but I'm not trying to sell you, like, any... Um, this is not sure opinions. These are just my genuine opinions. And, you know, you know that, again, you, know, you just get to hang out with people who like the same sort of stuff that you and have a have a conversation right which is uh, uh, quite nice but really the thing i like about youtube is the best is you can turn on a freaking dime so uh, uh i had a video plan for today and already uploaded ready to go i was very excited about it. well very reasonably i know very i'm very excited about about having sex okay <laughs> that's, that's, that's the that's how and i'm not really that excited about anything else okay so i'm reasonably excited about it but then yeah, all this stuff happened yesterday. Over there, Scar stuff. There's so many new bits of rumors and news. Uh, uh, change, changing it, changing it up. And so we're doing a rumor patrol video today. Uh, I'm not even sure I'm going to get it all in. Oh, well, we're back to we're back to the sex thing again. <laughs> Uh, uh, a rumor patrol video today uh, uh, because again there, there's a lot of it about before we get into it can you hit the like button that would be fan freaking fantastic thank you very much i am uh, uh, ridiculously grateful i am i am ridiculously genuinely grateful thank you very much hit the like button hit the share button can you hit the subscribe button that'll be great that'll be lovely i do like uh, i do like being subscribed to that's very nice uh, uh, if you're subscribed and you're on youtube please make sure you're still subscribed if you're on rumble hit the rumble button baby rumble for me, it's just, it's just rumble for you. Uh, uh, it's just a little plus. It's not very exciting. Hit the rumble button. Uh, 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 they like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me oh, please comment on this, these ones. These are some. Like, some of these I'm actually genuinely interested and hopeful for. Most of the time, these rumors I'm like, oh, that's bollocks. Why am I? Got, why am I going to even report on that? Because I got a Doctor Who channel, a geeky channel, mainly Doctor Who channel, is kind of what I do. Okay, so like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. The algorithm loves that. Just uh, absolutely adores that. Sign up to my Substack. It's my email newsletter. I send out comic books on it. I have a paid one, which I have not promoted enough. And, I just, and the only time I think about it is when I do these freaking intros, okay? I really, I've, I had a full month last month. Hopefully, hopefully March. Hopefully March will be the, will, uh, will be the time. Okay, so like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, uh, Substack. Uh, I, I think we covered everything. We covered everything. Now we can start talking about the, the, the news and the rumor. So the first rumor uh, uh, I'm excited about. Like, I am genuinely excited about. Uh, uh, it was. This is from uh, the Tardis Zone. Fact. It, <laughs> freaking. I. I was going to say fantastic and freaking, and it came out. It sounded like a bit of a, 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 a expletive. No, 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 no. Freaking awesome channel. Freaking Tardis Zone. If you don't know, uh, uh, they do news. Uh, it's Noel, Noel's channel. Was Great channel, they do news, but they also do these watch-alongs. If you ever fancy watching just a good Doctor Who, he just does classic, he does new Who, uh, watching it along with people who enjoy watching Doctor Who, and it's really fun, go check out his channel, please go subscribe to it. But his, his, uh, uh, his uh, history on, on reporting rumours that turn out to be true, pretty darn accurate, pretty darn good. I think probably one, uh, one of the highest. He's got a good nose for it, right? That's basically the bottom line. He's got a good nose for what, what's real and what isn't. So uh, he posted yesterday that uh, uh, Paul McGann is working on an animated series for uh, Bad Wolf that will be shown on BBC Three. I guess it'll be. I I, I think it being shown in England is kind of ancillary. I, I, it seems to be they want to make a Doctor Who universe channel. They want they they they, they really want that. Uh, um, and I'm kind of hoping they get that right. I I get that. So this sounds fantastic. I've I've wanted animated Doctor Who for quite some time now because I, I like Big Finish, gen, uh, generally speaking. Whenever they can get over their, uh, whatever it is, a psychological breakdown they're having about the world not being the way they think it should be. I, after I record this video, I have to review Space 1999. The new, and it's 
It's great. Here's the tragedy. It's really, really good. The stuff they do is really, really good. This one was so, it was so, such a two dimensional Brexit, COVID, uh, uh, Trump analogy. It, I mean, it's just, oh, oh. And it would have been fine. No, it wouldn't have been fine. But it would have been better uh, uh, if it came out the day it was written, right? If it came out the day it was written and things were pulled from the headlines, you wouldn't have had time to wait to see everything you believe in being proved wrong, right? Which is basically what happened. So uh, generally speaking, I like the stuff Big Finish does. I, I love their war doc. They've got this other guy playing John Hurt's role uh, perfectly, I think. I, uh, Louise Jameson trained him, and boy, is she good. She knows what she's doing. Uh, uh, I would love to see that, like Doctor Who Universe, the classic Doctor Who, and you, they could do all kinds. They could do William Hartnell. They have different people playing William Hartnell. They have different people playing Patrick Trowden. Uh, uh, Tim Trelaw is great as the Third Doctor. Uh, uh, John Coulter is fantastic as the as a Brigadier. Uh, uh, listen, get some Tom Baker stuff made while you can. He's looking a lot thinner uh, and frailer than he was several years ago. That's that's what I would suggest, right? Get get some in the can. Uh, uh, but yeah, I would love that. I would freaking love classic Doctor Who animated with. The, yeah, with McGann. People have been, been wanting more McGann for a long time. Um, look, if this room is true, I'm I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very, very happy. Uh, uh, I think we're going to have a lot of surprises like this over the... Uh, basically, when uh, uh, Doctor Who moves over to Bad Wolf, uh, um, which is probably why they're keeping things close to their chest right now. But I, 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 Rusty Davis just won't be able to contain himself. So, uh, uh, so we're going to start hearing about the stuff no later than November. I, I think... Uh, the new doctor's already been uh, been cast. Oh yeah, it is. I, I, somebody on Twitter uh, posted something that, that uh, posted the comment on one of his, no on Instagram. Posted a comment on his Instagram. Uh, so, I can't even remember what it said, but saying Russell, please like this if the new doctor's been cast, and then. Russell D. Davis liked it. So uh, it sounds like the new Doctor has been cast. Uh, and uh, uh, I just hope this this room about, about McGann is true. Because that, that's going to be awesome. Like, awesome beyond awesome. How about doing some more? Like, how does Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy? Come on! Let's do lots of them. I'm really genuinely up for this. Yeah, I'm really, really up for that. Uh, uh, hopefully it's true. And maybe, maybe once they get into you know, animating, maybe we can get to even better uh, uh, animated reconstructions. That uh, sounds fantastic. I mean, I, I, that would be great. That would be absolutely fantastic. Right, so that's the first story. The second story. Uh, um, first two stories. I got two stories in. Uh, second story. Uh, third story then is this. Let's go over to uh, uh, The Guardian, the uh, uh, purveyors of nonsense. Uh, uh, BBC director of drama. T uh, uh, dr no, BBC director of drama and director of film to leave in maze. Piers Wenger, uh, who commissioned Bodyguard and Rose Garnet, uh, whose, cred uh, whose credits include small acts, will join US base A24. So, Piers Wenger, if you don't know, is one of the chief architects of the collapse of the BBC. I was going to say collapse of Doctor Who. No, collapse of the BBC. It's my belief that. Um, uh, Chris Jimner was able to do his unbelievably poor take on Doctor Who that failed beyond, failed beyond, failed. More than we've seen anything fail in the history of Doctor Who before. I mean, honestly, I, I, he, he, Chibnall is just lucky. He's surrounded by people like Putin. Uh, well, he's, not, he's in a world with people like Putin and Biden. Who who are, are they? And Boris Johnson, you see this? I have no political affiliations on this one. They're all awful, right? And they all make Chibnall look not quite as awful as he is, right? I mean, listen, I, 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 in time of the style, look bad. Uh, uh, having your tongue cut out by the Taliban because you translated uh, for the US Army in, in Afghanistan. That's a bit worse. That's a bit worse. Anyway, so, uh, um, yeah, I guess, Phil, that we saw uh, this uh, this agenda, this gender agenda that anybody said, no, there's no agenda. Anybody who loved it said there was no agenda, right? Just like anybody who denies a Holocaust would love there to have been a Holocaust. Anybody who denied there's a, there's a platforming and agenda in Doctor Who and across most of BBC's output, uh, 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 would actually love there to be platforming across the uh, 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 most of the big Doctor Who and most of the BBC's output, right? So uh, he, this is one of the driving force behind it. I, I, you could feel his influence uh, on the Capaldi years, especially the later Capaldi years. I think that's why we had 
Bill Potts having to mention that she was a lesbian uh, uh, more times than if she was in lesbian porn, right? I mean, really? Like, like you would have thought lesbian porn would be very, very centered around people being lesbians. St still, Bill Potts was managed to mention it more than, uh, uh, um, I mean, again, not that I've, I've got, I, I might listen, my memories are from the 70s. <laughs> so, you know, I, I guess times may have moved on. Who knows? Who knows what this is dream? Anyway, uh, so he, he's, the rat is leaving the sinking ship. Uh, BBC has been hit by two major profile exits. Yes, because the, they, you know, the part is over, Wenger. Uh, uh, but not for you, because there is no, there is no accountability, is there? No accountability at all. With the corporation uh, uh, director of drama and director of film departing in May, uh, shortly before the license fee is scrapped. I honestly, I mean, I'm all for firing these people, but what about all the box ticking uh, um, uh, departments? All the uh, was it Julie, Julie Ju Judy Sarpong's? Like really, what? Like what about that? No. Uh, Business the commission shows like Bodyguard and Very British Scandal and Rose Garnet. What's even Rose? I've never heard of. Is that like something? Alfgar Alf Garnet? Let's look it up. I'm actually kind of intrigued. Rose Garnet? What is Rose Garnet? I, uh, I'm leaving the bloody article. No, I'll, 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 open a new, I'll only open a new window. Okay, I don't know how. Hey, I'll do it on this window over here, which... Uh, uh, doink. This talks about the main, the main reason I make this bloody video. Rose Garnet. Um, what, what, but what is it? What, what, uh, you, Rose Garnet is... Garnet was born to, act, but what? It's a BBC film. Uh, uh, it's director of BBC film. Oh, it's just. I thought it was like some feminist sequel to In Sickness and Out. It's In Sickness and In Health. <laughs> you don't know. Okay, and Rose Garnet is crazy. Okay, blah 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 blah. The losses uh, can the BBC expect to uh, face a two hundred eighty-five funding million funding gap and squeeze by jobs announcement in January. The license fee being frozen, plus uh, deep pocket competition. For, it can't stop. It's nothing to do with that. It's it, your jobs would have been secure and you wouldn't have to move anywhere had you not done relentless garbage, right? Yeah. Why? Uh, uh, why is a lot? Uh, 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 why is the BBC facing a two hundred eighty-five billion shortfall? Uh, uh, because they made relentless garbage that nobody wants. Uh, beside the scenes, BBC lo also uh, also lost another key player in December when Patrick Holland, director of factual arts and classical music, joined the independent production uh, giant uh, Banijay and the makers of Peaky Blinders and MasterChef. Charlotte Moore, uh, the BBC's chief content officer, said Piers Wenger has had an uh, has been an uh, outstanding director of drama over the past six years. Six years. Yeah, six. Yeah, we're in 2022. So what? 21, 20, uh, 20, 19, uh, 18. Say it's six, since 2017. Uh, uh, yeah, please say no more. <laughs> say no more. Uh, um, so he's gone. Uh, there's no justice. He's got a, uh, probably got a billion dollar deal going. Um, here's this other little news tidbit. This will stop Putin. I mean, probably th if there's no, if there's no other reason to invade uh, uh, Ukraine other than you won't have to watch Jodie Whittaker anymore. I, I think I'm with you on this one, Putin, right? I think I'm with you on this one. Yeah, I have to tell you, I'm finding this whole uh, Ukraine thing very, very confusing because it used to be, you know, when you had a war, you would watch the news and they'll tell you what's going on in the war. You know who were the good guys or the bad guys, right? Now in this fourth and fifth generational warfare, it's all about, like, narrative and propaganda so you have this side said they're doing atrocities that side says they're doing atrocities they, I, to me i don't know i don't know i listen i like the pluck okay i like i not the pluck i like the brilliance absolutely because if you're fighting a fifth generational warfare uh it was an uh, absolutely brilliant move to uh, arm your entire citizenry to make it essentially very very hard or impossible to uh to to uh, occupy somewhere so again i think that's more of an optic thing but uh but it, yeah it's a practical plan that worked really 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 well right uh, um so uh yeah you know good for them but i i i wish everybody peace and happiness right i have the but i have no idea i have no idea who's the good guys who are the bad guys right i just genuinely don't know if it turns out there's some weird alien parasite inside people's heads that has made social media that made it so people wanted to kick kill each other and and putin somehow was fighting against it i wouldn't be surprised it it, it might be putin just miffed his hand completely right and god only knows what's going 
going to happen because he can't lose this war now. <laughs> he's, he's over. And it does seem like the, I, I, I will be surprised if we get out of the next few months without there being some kind of limited nuclear exchange. I don't think it's going to be a global apocalypse. I really don't. I really, but that's because I'm just kind of a Bible thumping, uh, 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 you know, I believe in God. I figure, you know, really, why, why would you want to des destroy the world now as opposed to last week? I, I, I you know, that doesn't seem like we, we, we crossed any lines, you know. It's like we're, we're constantly crossing a line. So, so I, I just don't think that's what God wants to do. And that's my entire reason I think we're not going to experience an apocalypse, right? That, that's it, in a nutshell. Uh, 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 yeah, not much to hold on to, but okay. So uh, we'll see We'll see how that works out. Uh, uh, so BB Sword Slice is Doctor Who and Strictly Come Dancing uh, spin-off to Russia amid Ukraine invasion. So BBC have requested the Russian broadcasters scrap the popular programs like Doctor Who and spin-off of uh, Strictly Come Dancing following. Uh, bosses announced um, on Tuesday it was halting all content licensing for, uh, from Russia viewers after, after being okay, blah, blah, blah. The broadcaster uh, also demanded uh, such as the Dancing with the Stars and David Asper's Green Planet be removed from the program with statements that in common with, with other media organizations, we're monitoring the event slowly, uh, closely, <laughs> slowly. BBC executive team uh, will meet in day to decide to start. Okay, I, 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 I do hear it, right? But like, oh, uh -huh, yeah, Russia, you don't have to have, like, really? Really? This is your punishment? Having this taken away from you? Really? I want to invade Ukraine now, okay? That's just, that's all this has done. It made me want to invade Ukraine, okay? Because that's what we got to do to get rid of Jodie Whittaker. I, I, listen, mate, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, um, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully cooler heads will, will indeed prevail. Uh, uh, cooler heads did not prevail with this story over here, which is the reason this video is being made. Other than Piers, this and Piers Wenger together, I'm like, well, I guess, I guess, I guess we don't have a choice. Uh, um, so this this came out two days ago. Um, if we, listen, yes. I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if Matt Smith and David Tennant appear in the 60th anniversary special. I would not be surprised at all. But, you know, come on! It's not this. Ooh, how can you procrastinate? Procrastinate? Uh, prog, prognosticate? Prog, how can you predict? <laughs> how can one predict that? Uh, 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 it was plain and bloody obvious. But it's, this story goes a bit deeper. Uh, who's for a reunion? David Tennant and Matt Smith to return to Doctor Who for 60th anniversary show. Okay, how do I get in touch with Rod McPhee? Uh, uh, I got to I got to try and contact him to let him know that the ratings for Jodie Williams and Doctor Who are a lot worse than we thought they were. Like a lot worse than we thought they were. Uh, uh, you know the uh, the live ratings. By the Peaky Blinders only got 3.8 overnight. Really? I mean, I mean, this is how much they destroyed TV, right? I, I would have thought that would get a 5.8, quite frankly. Uh, Doctor Who fans have been whipped into a frenzy over the over who will replace Jodie Whittaker as she hands over the keys of the TARDIS sexy. Whipped into the frenzy. I mean, look, when we got the announcement, there was mass elation across fandom. And there really was mass elation across fandom. Um... Hearing that Chibnall was going well, even though they didn't have another showrunner, uh, uh, they didn't have anybody to hand the baton to because we all knew they failed. It was really quite hilarious. And then several weeks later, uh, Rusty Davis showed up and, and kind of nailed the coffin. <laughs> but the final nail in the coffin, wasn't it? Uh, but I can reveal her replacement will hardly appear in the show when... Uh, 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 in the show when it returns in 2023. Now this is how David Tennant was introduced by a great, great uh, uh, publicity still from, uh, was it The Next Doctor? Yeah, they, I love that. I really, really love that special. Uh, it's, it's, I, there's a lot in it. I like the cyber shades are a bit naff, but I do, I like a lot the cyber niche in, in it. Uh, a bit of Matt Smith. That was, that, that was from Doctor Widow in the Wardrobe. Yeah, not quite as good. Okay, not quite as good. Unless it's from, yeah, it is Doctor Widow in the Wardrobe. I recognize the trees in the background. Uh, instead, it's set to play host to a string of former Time Lords in a series of specials marking the uh, series' 60th anniversary, uh, 60th birthday. So, you know, um, look, I fear, I, look, when people ask me, what would I do with Doctor Who, I, I, I given the state it's in, I, I said that, you know, 
do a season of of classic Doctor or classic New Who Doctor, I should say, uh, uh, reminding people of, of why they love Doctor Who. Right, that's really what we got to do. We got to rem- be reminded why we love Doctor Who. So I love seeing you know. Uh, uh, so in my fantasy, I said they'll do do an excellent excellent episode. Do a like a. Uh, a David Tennant few part or a Matt Smith few part and get some more Capaldi in. Now, Eccleston and Capaldi, no chance. No chance whatsoever. But the basic idea of reminding people why they love Doctor Who seems to be a kind of, you know, kind of an obvious thing you need to do. Um, as the rumour mill has already suggested, I'd like to see Jodie pass on the bat and David Tennant as a different Doctor, as a 14th Doctor, maybe. But this sounds more more real. Actually, I did a... Uh, uh, it, this dovetails into rumor, the rumour video I did a couple of days ago, which was basically the... I think the, the first... The first hints of this. Uh, but it could also see uh, come back by Matt Smith, Chris Eccleston. No chance! No, I, no chance! Uh, and, P- and Peter Cabardi. I would say, before I had a Rusty Davis come, uh, come back, return. You don't know what return means. I said come back. So, yeah, we covered all bases. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I would say, say that Chris Eccles' return was more unlikely than Russell T. Davis. So I, I still find it more unlikely, even though Russell T. Davis is happening. It says, uh, Dreams on Iron for mega fan and showrunner Russell D. Davis, who clearly wants to repeat the 1983's feature length 20th anniversary, uh, anniversary special of the Five Doctors, which starred a quintet of the X Time Lord. Uh, yeah, listen, I can't wait for that to come out on Blu ray as well. Uh, the, it, it, Five Doctors is really legitimately awesome, right? It's really, it's just got so many good moments. In fact, I will say it goes from good moment to good moment. Now, what, here's a question Which version of the Five Doctors do you prefer? And I would like an amalgam. Like, I never liked the ice cream scoop time scoop thing. Yeah, the ice cream cone uh, time scoop thing. I always liked the the triangle with the top cut off because it was done by the paint box or whatever it was. But why not do something like that again? I love it when they're caught. They're all, like, triangled up. Ah, Yeah, that that was all good. But, uh, um... And I kind of like the new special effects in, in a lot of ways. The Thunderbolts are everywhere. Uh, <laughs> and they did look like they're having a great time in the middle of Wales uh, when they're filming it. Uh, a TV as I said, the BBC wants something unique to mark six decades of Doctor Who and to erase the taint that is Jodie Whittaker. And uh, while getting the former Time Lords together will be a challenge, what is one uh, Russell might just achieve? I mean, that is true. After all, he was the man responsible for signing out Eccleston and David back in 2005, and he is one of the a few people who might convince them to... There's no chance Eccleston is ever returned! Like, none! Zero! Uh, it remains to be seen if it, if it can achieve an exact copy of the five dots. This is bullcrap. No, they're not even... It won't be even one special. I mean, I, I mean it, it'll be five, they said. Um, the, again, the rumour the rumor on, fr- on Monday that I reported was that there's going to be a series of five specials with a uh, uh, with the Doctor being fractured. There's like a fractured 14th Doctor, and they have Hugh Grant playing one, Helen Bollancarda playing another one, maybe David Tennant playing a different one, you know, uh, uh, and, all, and they all have to fuse together or something to make the 14th Doctor, right, or the next Doctor. Or, I, I, and, you know, it, I'm assuming they're leaning heavily into multiverse, right, heavily into multiverse with the end of the Jodie era. That's a way of... Get, getting rid of the, the Jody era without retconning it, right? So I can see, I wouldn't be surprised if any of that was true. Uh, it will certainly catch up some of the spirit of the landmark uh, five doctors. Uh, it's just they're back together. Uh, it's just kind of reminding you about what, what the five doctors was. Uh, when and this is about BBC's pride, pride about Squid Game. I've never seen Squid Game. Every, every, every suggestion was good. This I'm looking forward to, right? Uh, uh, when is this on? Did they have, okay, I know this is a bit of an aside, uh, uh, but yeah, so I love the Icarus file. I think he looks great in the role. I reckon he looks like he was in Peaky Blinders or one of those shows, right? Uh, but I am look, looking forward to it. When, when's it coming out? Uh... Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Okay, this is just the general uh, nuke fight. Who gives a crap? Uh, uh, I do not. I, again, I don't rate this rumor. Okay, I do not rate this rumor. Uh, uh, and uh, there's quite a few more. So, uh, Screen Rant, they posted this 10 most exciting rumors about Doctor Who's future according to Reddit. So, I, I guess they did the work for me. Thank you very much. Um, Reddit has featured a variety of shocking leaks for Doctor Who's future 
And they're all wrong, okay? They're all always wrong. Okay? Don't, don't, don't get excited at any of them. Uh, wrong and, and often insane. <laughs> the same is like it's not even close to being right. They're always wrong. Okay, Reddit has featured a variety of uh, shocking leaks. Eee, I'm shocked. Uh, Doctor Vito leaving fans intrigued to learn more. Uh, with multiple specials uh, and uh, season 14 on the horizon, Doctor's future looks extremely bright. Well, it does now. Uh, Rossley Davis' grand return as showrunner has brought a renewed sense of anticipation for the sci-fi show, while uh, Christian was remaining episodes uh, as the head of the show writer. As many viewers excited for the Broadchurch creator, uh, grand plans. No one. No one's excited for his grand plans. People are excited um, to... Uh, um, see him go right uh, uh, people are excited to for the things he'll be platforming no one's really excited for the actual content they just i, I think they're really just pretending right uh the broken future endeavors have attracted uh several thrilling rumors which tease some uh, truly groundbreaking developments for our upcoming episodes reddit in, in particular has featured a variety of shocking leaks and rumors uh, okay, you just said that. Sean Pertwee is the third Doctor. Now, this has been going around for a while. Um, I think it'll be fantastic. I mean, he, uh, 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 he, I think he cosplayed as uh, the third Doctor about 10 years ago for, for Halloween or something. And he, it was great. Listen, I like honestly, I like Tim Trelaw. I think he really nails the uh, the third Doctor on, on audio. Uh, what am I saying? Hey, let's see this. Prepared by John Thir uh, Pertry, the third Doctor's uh, time in the title has brought a true sense of adventure to the proceeding. He was James Bond of the time, right? He was super cool. The only people who can get away with it with a thrilly shirt and a, le and a velvet jacket, uh, Doctor Who and Jimi Hendrix. Uh, with uh, the title of becoming embroiled in units, top secret organization, Reddit poster Jimmer Game Gamers 08. Uh believes uh, the bold and courageous incarnation on the time may return for six times special with Sean Poetry assuming a status role. I mean, look, I think this is a bit fan-wanky wish fulfillment, right? Um, be great, though. I mean, I, I would be so up for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can have... Uh, uh, what's his name? Michael Traff was playing the second Doctor on uh, Big Finish. They, he, they, they had him in one story so far, uh, The Annihilators, as a... Uh, Kind of like uh, guess, and he was very good. He was it was different. It was a different to uh, Fraser Hines' take on it, but it was actually very good. I I I, I ran. Well, I didn't run. Okay, I don't run for anything. I did go and buy uh, uh, the um, uh, the first after the war game set uh, on you know on the strength of that because it was really genuinely very good. I, I I was quite quite happy with it. Uh, so he claims that, that uh, he teases a caper that the. So we'll see the third Doctor team, uh, team up with the tenth incarnation to investigate a time rift uh, at a secret unit HQ underneath Stonehenge. We can't do that. They've already got the Underhenge going there. However, uh, Sean Perky bears a strike on the Emblems of Late Father. The actor has previously said he's unwilling to take the part, having told Dead of the Geek in 2015 his dad's shoes are too large to fill. Um, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to chalk that one up to bollocks. Catherine Tate. Now, she's the second one. But, uh, uh, um, Rumored to be returning to uh, um, uh, for the for the six years, but not playing Donna Noble, right? David Tennant playing a different Doctor, and she she was playing a different character. Sounds like a bad idea. It sounds like Zagreus, which was the uh, the big finish. What was it? Their fiftieth release, uh, which was it was really good up until that, right? They had they had Colin Baker playing uh, a vampire and Sylvester McCoy playing the. Uh, creator of a uh, interplanetary uh, uh, Disneyland. Oh my god! I'm putting out a video on uh, Star Wars Galactic Cruiser. I can't believe how badly this thing has come out. Right, the amount of money that they burn and it's clearly all going to flop. Uh, uh, it just blows my. Mind. It l genuinely, literally blows my mind. Uh, okay, fine. The, the brass and feisty Donna Noble Catherine Tate proved one of the Doctor's greatest companions following her debut in The Runaway Bride. According to Reddit user Hal Delaware, uh, the co uh, comedy actor uh, could be about to grace the sci-fi series once again, but not necessarily as Donna. Yes, yeah, so this has been going around for a while. Uh, Catherine Tate's return to the iconic British program could bode well for the show with her previous appearance alongside David Tennant, uh, resulting in arguably the uh, TARDIS best team. Certainly one of the most successful teams. I, I think that's... I mean, honestly... 
I love Matt Smith's first season, right? I think that's as close you're going to get to perfect Doctor Who. And I'm not saying there's like, the stories I like better than than, every, than in the first season, but man, that dyna- that that dynamic between uh, the Doctor and, and Amy and Rory, uh, it, it just it was fantastic. It was genuinely fantastic. I I love that first season. Um, do we have a perfect, uh, uh, perfect hardest team portraying a new individual within the Hooniverse uh, would also allow the comedian to reveal new aspects of her personality. She's uh, as she's offered different uh, a different take on Doctor Who companion. With Tate having previously expressed a desire to return to Doctor Who, this uh, this rather unusual rumor could come true. Uh, Omega, I, I, I see it more likely with the end of Chibnall, but okay. Um, well, which one will, will he look like? This one will he look like the Ark of Infinity one? Who knows or dares to dream? Uh, first scene in 1972. The, you know, I, I really want to. Uh, um, they have it on digital. I should get the Brian Blessed uh, uh, Omega comic and audio. Right, I uh, um, I should I really should check that out. Uh, first scene in 72 is the three doctors, mainly because John Bridgeway is doing the artwork. Oh, I love John Bridgeway. Uh, Over is one of the most dangerous villains in Doctor Who universe, uh, with the diabolical uh, schemes that have nearly brought the universe to destruction. Reddit's uh, the Crimson King 19. What are the other 18 of them doing? Uh, states that the stellar engineer will feature within the show's sixth anniversary with James Earl Jones set the voice of Menacing Figure. Oh, piss off! No! No, that's just bollocks. That is bollocks. Um, Omega's reappearance has long been uh, requested by fans, uh, with the uh, Time Lord having not been seen since the 1983's Ark of Infinity. The Crimson King 19 states that the plans are in the early stages and what promises to be, uh, uh, be in the news series' biggest plot yet, with the actor having delivered some cinematic, uh, 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 cinema's most notable performance, James O.J. Jo- I think he'll go for an English actor, frankly. Uh, and there's a lot. I mean, best best Omega is still. Um, I'm just thinking Francis de la Tour, but it wasn't no? It was the bloke. Uh, um, I can't remember. He played him in Zagreb. Still, I think best uh, better than uh, uh, Timothy Dalton and the bloke after him. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, he was. Uh, uh, really, really worked. But oh, what was that guy's name? Ah, I can't remember. Uh, as his dramatic, imposing uh, intonations bring into... Yeah, no, that's a complete bollocks, all right? Tenth Doctor's return, highly likely. Regarded by fans as the best Doctor... To, I, no, is... Okay. The reason he's regarded as the best Doctor is because a, a massive inrush of fans happened with him because... It got, it, when t- t- Exxon came out, people were just taken by surprise that it was good, right? That it was like, it looked good and it was professional and it, it could hold its own against, uh, you know, um, yeah, American TV, right? And it, 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 it looked good and, so, and it was good. But, uh, but as soon as you brought in David Tennant, who was a bit dishy and you know, people were like, and it was good at the same time. It was that, and basically David Tennant worked in the same way the Daleks did in the 60s. It brought people into Doctor Who, and the first way you experience something is the way you love it most, right? I, it's something I've seen over and over again. The first way you experience something is the way that you love it most. That's why David Tennant is such a beloved Doctor, and I don't really like his, like his Doctor that much. Uh, David Tennant's take on the electric Time Lord is endearingly charismatic depiction of television's greatest hero. Reddit user Doctor Augmental speculates that this beloved incarnation is due to return, with internet poster claiming... Uh, with the internet poster claiming the production team have asked around uh, all the living actors to see if anyone was interested. Well, that makes sense. David Tennant's return will not be the first time. Okay, Day of the Doctor, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and lots of big finish. Yeah, no, it sounds like bollocks, mate. I'm sorry, it sounds like bollocks. Evil Dan, no. I mean, I maybe. But it's, it, it just seems like... Okay, the way Chibnall does these things, he gives you no exposition whatsoever. I mean, no build-up whatsoever. You know, Yaz is stunning and brave and the best as ever, and then she had mental health problems because she was bullied by because she was a Muslim in Yorkshire. In some weird alternate dimension version of Yorkshire, right? Um, one, of, uh, uh, one of Doctor Who's most widely discussed memes is Evil Dan. Well, I mean... He did out Yaz to the Doctor, which is really genuinely evil, right? You shouldn't do that. Uh, with fans, but I, I think they set him up. I, 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 I don't know. 
I mean, it, it, okay, it will be really dumb and stupid for them to do Evil Dan. Sounds like they could do Evil Dan then. Uh, uh, and again, if you're not watching current Doctor Who, don't, don't. It's not worth it. Uh, one of Doctor's, uh, Doctor Who's most widely discussed memes is Evil Dan, with fans finding the prospect of the otherwise kind hearted Liverpudlian hiding a dark secret, especially amusing. Like, what's going on with his character? Like, why is he single? Why is he living alone? What's he like? I don't know. Uh, according to the Reddit poster, Awesome Source M21. Okay, Awesome Source M21. Uh, Doctor Who's poops viral sensation could be about to become reality uh as he suggests dan actually turns out to be evil in the second special cliffhanger i guess we'll find out in what a month and 15 days <laughs> april 17th i think it's supposed to be on oh help us and then yeah i got more bad news okay i thought uh uh, uh tomorrow they i think it's both the finale of discovery which i've got to push myself through but the premiere of Picard. Oh, God. You couldn't give us a week in, in between to, re, re, you know, get our minds back together? No. So, you know, if they if you find me uh, on on Saturday doing a uh, uh, a show from a, a padded cell, you'll know why. You'll know why. This unexpected twist would offer, uh, uh, offer a new perspective on the brave plasterer. Okay. Uh, he attempted to follow the Doctor's plans, adding credibility to the room is a show's history, which briefly featured... Uh, coming to the turtle and comedian turning out to be the old piss off. Uh, I mean, I mean, all Tarlo did was look shifty for a few hours ago. <sighs> no, <sighs> I mean, that's basically all it was the Black Guardian trilogy, and then the, and the weird bird on his head. Okay, and chameleon, but chameleon didn't turn evil, he was just subsumed by the master. By the way, John Colshaw did a very good turn as a chame chameleon in three uh, uh, big finish stories, which I thought were, thought were pretty darn good. Um, and incredibility to the rumours, uh, yeah, chameleon, uh, that, uh, and any uh, credibility rumour. Damn Harding and Nasty Street would be thrilling, for, uh, thrilling twists for viewers, uh, which the... I mean, honestly, I like my plot twist that Putin ends up being the good guy instead. That's, that, that, sounds much, that sounds as believable and better. Okay, <laughs> so piss off. Torchwood, really? Really? You're going to get... Uh, 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 I mean, you might get Yanto, right? You, you, but I doubt you're going to... I mean, I, I'll be surprised. If John, I mean, John Barrowman is persona non grata completely at the BBC. Although BBC has no sway over Doctor Who when Rusty Davis comes back. So I'll see what's going on there. Uh, my guess is, my guess is as soon as uh, um, BBC lose control of Doctor Who, that torch would release uh, our absent friends with uh, um, John Barrowman and uh, uh, David Tennant will be on the shelves straight away. Uh, during the Simon Television talk show, delivers some of the best Doctor Who spin-off stories. That's true. And I like Chibnall's season. Yeah, that season two. I thought that was good. Uh, with audience in, uh, entranced by its uh, adult take on the on the Who universe, although Cyber Program ended its run in two thousand eleven, not not spectacularly, uh, and they just the, the audio is just like fell off, fell off a cliff. Uh, Reddit's Odo sixty three believes it could be about to make its triumphant return, expressing that Eve Miles will lead a brand new cast. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, you're not going to get John Barrow, but as I said, Torture and Revival will be, uh, will be great. Uh, will grant audience a chance to explore the murkier corners of the universe. I don't see this happening, okay? If they don't do an adult show, uh, then I think it's going to be something new, right? Or I'll or, or have John Barrow in it. But John Barrow's a little bit, you know, older now. You know, it's 15 years later. And yeah, he looks good, but he, look, he doesn't look like that anymore, okay? <laughs> just, let's, let's get real here. Um, uh, Quarry Spinner has been a considerable success on audio with big finish productions, radio plays, proving to be, uh, proving there's still a sizable uh, audience for Torchwood uh, Institute's many inventions. Yeah, but now it's just all like, nothing to do with Torchwood. It's like PC Andy or uh, these new characters they invented and, and they were doing box sets, uh, which at first were pretty darn good, but I... I think they just fell off a cliff, really. 12 Doctors Return. Would I love this more than anything else in the world? I mean, not more than Again, I really like sex, okay? That's what I get excited for. Uh, 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 okay, here's a question, though, right? I had a choice. Uh, um, I had to choose. I could not have sex again, or there would not be Doctor Who. 
Right, one of these two things will go, well, I think Doctor Who's going, mate. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What I don't know what to tell you. Uh, portrayed by Peter Cafaldi, the 12th Doctor is especially beloved incarnation. Well, you know, uh, uh, he, got, he got a raw deal on TV and then he was replaced by the worst person possible. Uh, beloved incarnation with fans having taken uh, to the grumpy Scottish, uh, uh, Scottish time, time travellers more uh, socially inept uh, personality. Go check. Wait, 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 I always plug this. Uh, I really should start doing reviews of, of season 12. Go check out season 12 and season 13 uh, by Alex Leaves. Great, great Capaldi Doctor Who. Just really great Capaldi Doctor Who. Um, Reddit user Ryan Caps has suggested the fan favourite take uh, on the ancient type lord could feature in the 60th anniversary with Jenna Coleman and Jodie's fan being in, in talks around. Piss off! No! No! No, 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 no. Bollocks beyond bollocks beyond bollocks. Peter Cabaldo's fan status could uh, lend some fun interactions with these uh, returning characters with the Doctor's Delight and uh, starring alongside some of the series' biggest names. Oh, what? Bradley Walsh? Jodie Bloody Whittaker? Yaz? Please. Uh, likely to reflect in his performance. This is no chance. Furthermore, in a recent Instagram post, uh, may have confirmed Peter Cabaldo's involvement in an upcoming episode, as one fan requested Russell Lee Davis to like their comment if Capaldi has been cast as... Uh, no, that wasn't Capaldi. If the next Doctor had been cast, uh, resulted in a particularly favourable response. Yeah, no, that I, I saw that. That didn't happen that way. Lego Doctor Who. So this was 100% going to happen, 100% on, then uh, it was absolute bollocks at the same time. Uh, uh, I don't know. Lego Video's game output covers some of the biggest franchises, including Indiana Jones and Jurassic Park. But one recent rumor implies Doctor Who will be the next to uh, uh, next to feature Lego treatment. Originally posted on Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit, Quirky Wino. <laughs> Hi, I'm Quirky Wino. You can trust everything I, can, I say. Uh, Quirky Wino. Okay, Quirky White has read a statement declared the sci-fi series Lego game will release in 2023 with uh, lots of Victorian England focused levels, but um, um, but plenty of amazing aliens. I, I find it unlikely. Uh, I mean, I think they will be having whatever they're doing in 2023 on screen, and and I just don't know if they have that available, right? Uh, Doctor Who's got plenty of potential, truly addictive installment of video game series. That's true, with several uh, colourful characters that could be included with the release. Uh, uh, I mean, honestly, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor would make sense if she's a Lego Doctor. And not a lot else, right? That, that's the only way I think we can go. Oh, yeah, that one works. Uh, Lego um, has previously explored the world of Doctor Who uh, through Toys to Life game Lego Dimensions, indicating... Uh, the toy company's pre-existing interest in sci-fi program with many fans requesting Lego sets based on the uh, spin-off Sarah Jane Adventures. The uh, demand for uh, it appears consistently high for uh, the Hooniverse to be created in Lego form. Uh, I think I might be up for that. The 80s Doctor. So what's going on here now? Um, Doctor Who's classic series has produced some memorable incarnations of the Doctor. Uh, across the decades, the British program uh, with their wildly eccentric person is now uh, a now deleted Reddit user claims the 80s doctors for the centenary with Jodie's re uh, uh, for the Jodie regeneration episode. I, the, I just I find it unlikely. I mean, uh, uh, I, they got all the Jodie stuff to wrap up. I mean, you might get um, like we had that very cool bit in the 50th anniversary where when all the doctors came together, you know, like. Uh, what was it though? Uh, William Hartnell, uh, uh, Dr. Corley with War Council. That, that was awesome, right? That was awesome. I freaking love that. Uh, and I understand it was, a, it was a bit silly, but for me, it was a punch in the air moment. I absolutely loved it, right? And I love that use of Eccleson in there. Uh, um, and ooh, you, you had all the doctors. It was wonderful. It was truly wonderful. Uh, uh, I don't like how they're redefining the, uh, the uh, curator. That's the other, other bit of news in Big Finish. Uh, they do, they're finishing the, the awful Stranded series with uh, uh, Paul McGann. Uh, 
uh, which I think has probably destroyed that range completely. They're having to reboot it, but uh, they 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 got they sucked me in on the first one by having Tom Baker play the cr uh, curator in that. Oh, so now they got the curator again in the false box set, but it's played by by Colin Baker. I'm like, what? So apparently, according to Stephen Moffat, that 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 incarnation or whatever he is changed its face on Will every now and again. So uh, whatever. Uh, with Davidson Baker and Tess McGoy all having reprised their roles recently for the Audio Avengers and Blu-ray commercials, it seems likely the actors will be willing to come back for further serial outings, uh, televisual outings. Uh, this is truly uh, these truly outstanding occasions have yet to appear in the new series, meaning the potential. Yeah, look, I mean, okay, they look like they're aged a bit, and Davidson did appear in Time Crash and Morons. Um, these truly outstanding occasions have also appear in the new series meaning the potential uh, uh potential reappearances were uh present a significant moment within the show's recent history uh uh whatever i doubt it kush jumbo is the 14th doctor uh and then kush jumbo will be the last doctor i've never heard of kush jumbo i mean if you're not not in 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 the uk jumbo does mean a poo uh, uh, <laughs> and also uh, uh, many things of, of cross-cultural uh, differences. Uh, uh, we call a, uh, uh, in America they call a bum bag a fanny pack, uh, and we call a vagina a fanny. So you know, uh, uh, yeah, it's all it's all a bit confusing. Known to torture fan for a daring and demented Lois Habiba. I don't remember that at all. Kush Jumbo is one of British most promising rising stars. Well, it can't have been that right rising. They've been torturing for over ten years. Okay, I mean, you? Fine. Uh, Reddit user um, Key Responder believes the actor uh, may be about to be undertake the biggest role in her career. As the post suggests, Kush Jumble was cast as the 14th Doctor back in October 21. Bollocks! Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. I don't, I don't think they started auditions till December. Uh, Kush Jumble proved a strong choice. Terrible choice. For the, I mean, I'm sorry. I... I I, I, this is this casting choice is a middle finger to the majority of fandom that that have left Doctor Who, right? Um, I just don't see Rusty Davis doing it without a damn good reason, right? Without a really, really good reason. Uh, Jumbo could provide a strong, uh, strong choice for the do uh, part of the uh, letter in Time Lord. Uh, demonstrating a strong screen presence about tortured appearance. I don't remember that at all. The actor brings a steely defiance into a depiction of Lois. Who uh, would suit the character of the Doctor, where who is often shown facing down the universe's greatest foes? Yeah, I mean, have you seen Jodie Whittaker do it? I mean, I remember when she faced down uh, Lenny Henry, and, and like how he didn't start laughing was beyond me. Uh, with Doctor Who, I've pretty re reused such actors as Colin Baker and, P and uh, Peter Capaldi, Eccentric Time Lord. Okay, you don't, don't mean I need to explain a reusing of her because nobody bloody remembers. Uh, uh, yeah, this is bollocks, right? This is bollocks. So that's bollocks. This is bollocks. Um, this is probably bollocks. Uh, that's certainly bollocks. Uh, that's bollocks, maybe. Uh, that's the least bollocks so far. Couldn't care less, Evil Dan. Uh, don't care. Um, probably true, but bollocks rumor anyway. Uh, Omega, probably bollocks. Uh, Catherine Tate sounds a bit bollocky to me. Uh, who else we got? And then third, John Potter, the third Doctor, bollocks. Uh, it sounds like a lot of bollocks, okay? That's what I, I would say to uh, uh, Scream Rant and Reddit have joined together uh, uh, in an unholy alliance form of parabolics. Okay, for parabolics. There you go. Uh, 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 lots of news and rumors. I didn't even get to the Radio Times article about uh, who's going to be the next companion. I'll give a shit when I when it happens, okay? I'm uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. My name's Ela Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop.